In this video, we are going to do some extra work involving mental math and kind of building up our mental math repertoire. One of the things that can, comes in handy when you're doing mental math is knowing your squares. So let's go over the squares of numbers up to 20. I would recommend you, you memorize these squares. You've probably got the first 12 down already, but we'll go ahead and, um, and review them anyway. So, um, one squared, of course, we know that. One squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, okay, down here, 10 squared is 100, 11 squared, 121, 12 squared, 144, 13 squared, 169, 196, 225, 16 squared, okay, oh, give me a pause, one sec, 16 squared would be 100 plus 120 plus 256. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm good at this one here. 20 squared, that's an easy one. 20 squared is 400. Okay, 19 squared. Let me think here. So that'd be 20 squared minus 40. So that'd be 400. 19 squared is 361. Okay. Uh, 361. So what I was thinking was I would do um, 20 minus 1 times 20 minus 1. That's kind of why I paused there in that little calculation and I foiled it out. Okay. So let's go to this one here. 17, oh, th there's also a very neat pattern here. I should have, uh, should have been pointing this out as we go. If you're uh, writing them out like this, notice that your increase is always an odd number, and it's always the subsequent odd number. Okay, so that's an increase of 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. 15, 17, 19, an increase of 21, an increase of 23, 25, 27, 29, 31. So my next increase would be 33, 289. And after that, an increase of 35, okay? An increase of 35, so 290 plus 35 would be 325, 324. Okay. So you've probably got these down already. Make sure you memorize these, okay? It'll help you spot patterns in your mental math. Okay, so memorize those. And here's something else, another pattern that you might want to uh, make use of for doing mental math. Powers of 2 up to 2 to the 12th. So 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7th, 2 power 8, 2 power 9, 2 power 10, 2 power 11, and 2 power 12. These are pretty easy to generate. Okay, 2 to the 1st is, of course, just 2. And, of course, you keep doubling to get the next one here. So you'd have 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, double that, 128. That's 2 to the 7th. 256, 5, 12... 1,024, 2,048, 
and then 4,096. Okay, so you might say, well, why on earth would this ever help you in mental math? Well, if I had to do something like, oh, let's go 16 times 64, okay, if I had to compute that, I would have a much easier time doing this, right, that's 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 6th, we know the rules for exponents, okay, that's 2 to the 10, and we know what 2 to the 10 is, all right, that's 1024. So recognizing these powers of 2 when they come up can help you in your mental math. So a couple of things to add to your toolkit for mental math, and that's the squares up to 20 and powers of 2.